Well, it sucks. Chain broke as I was lifting up the engine. Slammed it down into the frame. Let's see what kind of damage it did. The only uh, good luck is where you see it hit the frame nice and hard. I was just about to go over there and take those bolts out to move the uh, cross member. Anyways, I don't know what damage is done. This sucks. Okay, here's the damage assessment from it, uh, the chain breaking. Uh, smashed up the paint on the uh, cross member, so obviously scratched up the frame there. Uh, some of these scrapes, like that dent right there wasn't there, that's one of the casualties. Some of the scratches were there um, from before uh, when I was fitting it in there. Um, landed on the fuel pump, smashed uh, the, the fuel line up. It looks kind of kinked, but I can't tell for sure if it's, if it's really bad. That was a brand new fuel pump, by the way. Uh, once again, more scratches and scrapes on the, uh, on the, uh, oil pan. Uh, it landed, the part that scratched up the frame was the uh, bottom side of this bracket, and it didn't seem to crack the bracket, which I was lucky, I guess. Um, well, the worst one of them all, though, is, is that mark right there on the harmonic balancer. It means it landed on the harmonic balancer. And that right there means I don't know. I don't know if that uh, damaged the harmonic balancer, could have damaged the crank. Great day, great day. Okay, so I've been thinking about the uh, harmonic balancer here. And what I'm going to do is, uh, before I first run this thing, I'm going to uh, put a dial indicator on it and uh, measure the run out and see if it seems excessive. And excessive is just going to have to be a by gut and by glory kind of thing there because I don't have any idea what it was before. So, uh, if it seems excessive it means that I probably bent the crank. I might have just distorted the harmonic balancer. That's a possibility. It is rubber uh, filled. Well, there's a rubber layer. Um, so it might not have done any damage to the crank, but if there's excessive run out that stays, it kind of tells me that I probably bent the crank. In that case, this engine is probably a done deal. It's, it's uh, you know, it's going to be a rebuilder case, which would really suck because it was a good runner.